Hello, I am Dread. Welcome. Today I'll be covering a video on how to use the auto hotkey transition with OBS multi-platform. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Nikon Punch for his transition video, and I want to give a mention for my video that I made for the original OBS. I want to make a quick note that by using transitional videos, it is recommended that you have a decent system set up, at least with CPU and or video card, because it can be pretty high and taxing. Also, I'm using a dual PC streaming setup, so your results may vary by using this script. This is currently set up exactly for my setup, so some things you may need to tweak or work with. And if you do run into issues, please feel free to comment in my video and I'll do what I can to help with what time I have. So, let's get into it. First of all, this is the scene transition that you want to hopefully have if you're watching this video. Using this, you can do this multiple times. Depending on your CPU resources, it'll run just fine. You don't have that big of an issue at all. So the first thing I want to mention is this window right here is my Logitech G13, which is the game controller device that I use to control the scene transitions and everything else for my streaming PC. This section right here is the auto hotkey script that I use for my streaming PC. And the first section that I want to mention is the reload portion right here. This reload portion is really nice to have in any auto hotkey script that you work on. Using this, I can use control zero or numpad zero to then reload the auto hotkey script after I've saved it to test as I continue to continue to develop with it. The next section is shift control F1. This is used not only on my streaming PC, but also my gaming PC to launch all the applications required to start up my stream instead of, instead of having to manually click each one. This one is pretty much bare bones and commented out because most of the things that I use are on my gaming PC, which you can see here by launching Google Chrome, IRC, Spotify, um, and voice meter and discord and so on and so forth going back to the streaming pc window i scroll down to the numpad 2 section this is all it takes to launch the transition video what this does is it says that if the obs window exists this could be detecting obs or obs multi-platform by saying that, this does not mean that this will work with the original OBS. This is only tested to work with the OBS multi-platform. The next thing is to do a control, control click at specified location twice. So what this does is it does a double click on the transition of my sources. Now, that means that the transition source has to be the topmost source in your window. Your location may be different from mine. To figure out what your location is, you would have to use Windows Spy, and then with this little application open, you'd then click in the window, and then find the location that you're looking for, then hit Windows A to lock it. That way you can use the reference point of the relative default line using the X and Y axis in your script. After that is done, it then waits for one second for the properties window to pop up, once it has popped up, it goes to the next line, does a single click on the OK button of the properties window, which then kicks off the video. Then it sends the numpad 2 to OBS to then change to the second scene. The reason why that is there is because there is no squiggly line on numpad 2, which means that numpad 2 is taken or absorbed by the auto hotkey script and not sent to anything else. Versus numpad 1, this little squiggly line makes it so that the numpad 1 is still sent to the Windows operating system, even though it's being captured by the auto hotkey script. Another cool tip or trick to use with this setup is simple things like um, in OBS multi-platform, you can have media sources as animated GIFs. So with this section right here, I can actually have a blood splat as an animated GIF, as shown right there. Pretty cool stuff, I do enjoy it quite much. And then again, that's using the same uh, methodology as the previous portion. And again, the G13 just shows the layout and design of which buttons do what. 
So for instance, G1 hits the numpad one, G4 does numpad four, G8 does numpad six, and so on and so forth. That would then correspond with this auto hotkey script. I myself, again, want to recommend that the G13 is a great device and tool to use for your streaming PC if you have one. If not, it is something to look into. Um, and I think that's about all I got. So at this point in time, I suppose I'm going to close down the video. And if you like the video, please click the like button. If you dislike the video, then click the dislike. If you enjoy the content, please feel free to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment below. I will continue to try and provide more instructional videos to help you out on the way. Thank you for tuning in.